70% of transactions by value are happening in stable tokens that are US dollar denominated. That is like telling you that the market is demanding a stable reference in the system and it's tying these quote unquote decentralized systems back to the fiat based monetary system. And if we leave that as the status quo, we're never gonna be independent of them. Bitcoin luckily doesn't really have stable coins that circulate on it, but say Ethereum does. And let's just say Ethereum is a perfectly decentralized system. If there's $200 billion of stable assets on a $300 billion market cap network, who controls that network? Is it the consensus mechanism endogenous to the protocol? Or is it the people that control the deposits in the banks and the people that regulate those banks? Right? If Ethereum forks, the canonical fork of Ethereum is going to end up being the one that has USDC and USDT on it. And that decision is going to be determined by the companies that issue USDT and USDC. And that's going to be determined by what the regulators want to see. So I don't remember who the current uh, Treasury Secretary is, but I used to say that Janine Yellett already controls the Ethereum network. She just hasn't played her trump card yet. Um, so like that is why we should have this discussion of uh, stable tokens and trying to create endogenous stables in these systems because without changing the unit of account, becoming independent of not just the reference to the dollar, but obviously the dependency of custodians on dollars, we can't become independent of dollars.